the Super Falcons of Nigeria versus host nation Australia. Mm. And um, we played them in the World Cup before, 2015. Mm. And uh, that was a 2 0 loss, uh, two goals from Simon. But I think seven players that started that day are still in the Super Eagles, uh, Super Falcon Falcons. setup as we speak. And um, most of them still they're involved. So they may be able to tell one or two in as much as that Australian team don't really refresh. And then they are without their star player, um, Sam Kerr. But yeah. we have uh, two of our players returning. And uh, Deborah Abiyo doing with her one or two, this is the way she get the red card. But I mean, nobody don't take that red card as a yardstick to judge her for her performance. No, 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 no. She was virtually man of the match, bad at red card and bad at uh, Nadozie save. So, um, Super Falcons have a game to play. Of course, uh, during the first game, the aim for this group stage, I feel, has always been four points. If we can get four points, we should be good. But then, people don't come up for group stage with four points. So, I think it's a winnable game. I really believe. I really believe. And against the host nation. Yes. It's going with to be our because they were not offense. that they were not that spectacular. The only thing I feel is that we 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 give away too many shots. And in as much as we know say around the world drum, in one being, you know, play that kind of pack the boss kind of setting against mm -hmm. Canada. Doing it against this Australian team now, if he affects us because we give away too many shots that day. And then, uh, if not for Nadozie, and we had, I think, five blocks, and then Nadozie made three saves. So that's virtually eight clear goal scoring opportunities or stuff like that. So I feel if if he's a bit more progressive minded, maybe this may not be the match for Francesca or Dega. Maybe nobody says she be a bad player or anything, but we may have. Or we do have, in my opinion, better quality on the bench. And she's a proper option coming off the bench as well with her experience and everything. If Uche Nakanu or Rashida Rajiba they start <coughs> in place of her, I know go they, you know, go make me sad in any way. And something I go say, okay, nice one. Let's move and see. So hopefully he's more progressive minded and he, you know, does some risk taking more. And then I believe, I really believe we can get a result. Yeah, I really believe we can get a result. In as much as it may be a slim result, but our defense don't show say then they're solid enough to grind out something. If only our attack could take those few chances, we could fall to them. But uh, what do you want to think? The, the, the thing I see, <clears throat> one thing about this tournament, if they say they play Australia and are just normal country way, Mm. then travel qualify yeah. as maybe in england with the play this tournament and australia just come you go see australia and our country we will just win there anyhow we be like mm. we will just grant the result from australia but you see one thing about the problem with all this na worst nation i see if they always play part mm. when you the host you always yeah, play part you don't help Qatar. <clears throat> You know, help Qatar based on who they be <laughs> you understand but like if you see this australia nobody see them bad 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 Mm. compared to they are, they are good they are a good team mm. like they are no man mm. like compared to saudi arabia where mm. you could see mm. this one this one but you want to about this uh australia and i see now them the host nation mm. and you go play part for them and at the same time their fans go deal behind them everybody like they go <laughs> come out no matter how the news have been played like the fans go always cheer them up and they go want to put all their best to make sure oh. they don't qualify from this group yeah no matter how it be so me what I, I like Nigeria where they play well. The guests they play well, if not for like the chances we our game means that day we she was even turned back. Mm, just ball, we look score. up. Like we just scored that one and we was done and done said that day. Like we could just get one point or two other points. Yeah. We are done, we are gone. But like if we feel get result from this match, it go really make sense, it go really help us so mm. so well to the extent that we don't need to look after the other match because it could be maybe Canada and these people now where they fight themselves, say who go qualify, who go qualify, who yeah. don't deal well with it. Mm. Because the other people open away with one player, that's one. Uh, I learned. Uh, <laughs> we go, we go pieces <laughs> those one. We go tear them apart. <laughs> but it's just that the Australia guy, that match go tough I based on now them be the host nation. Two things, two things. One, I want just one quickly touch for these mm. guys now. See, the first one, the tactics. Yeah. The guy just gas change them because they were really, really a bit more defensive. Maybe they, they try to catch them on counter. Mm. That's number the thing one. I say, and, now the, now the quality of that, the yeah, the quality of that um, Canada side, he, he just respect them, and which is due because maybe if we were too open, we for concede Woto Woto. Yeah, but mm. um, I feel that played a part in us earning the point. That tactic no day bad if they play against teams where they obviously better than you. Where he day bad now when you know finish the chances will come and then you look like a John C man. Mm. So hopefully we'll finish. If not, two chances will come. Score. 
You understand? Get, uh, yeah. You get, you get one person who I believe, or, mm. um, Rashidat. Mm. You know, I'll be seeing one of her interviews. She'll be talking, mm. she's ready. Yeah. And I believe that girl. Then, <coughs> the whole talk of Australia and not allowing fans and everything. Aha! Good. So, um, oh God, thank you. God will bless you for bringing this thing up. The um, supporters club of the Nigerian football, basically, both Super Eagles and Super Falcons, um, they are currently having some major issues. I don't know, normally, no matter the tournament anywhere, even for Argentina during this um, under-17 World Cup and all, they were there. They've been there, there live and direct, and they're always there, there. Now, are people where they add pressure, and of course, we know what support mean. Mm. You understand? Generally, talk less of in uh, competitions like this. Mm. So, they they are seriously complaining that there may be some, what thing I will call them now, um, na, na conspiracy or something because they are having issues with their visa going down to Australia and some people don't even talk say that they purposefully delay those visas so that Australia go first play Nigeria and then after Australia plays Nigeria they cannot grant the visa to, for them to come for the final game or something and flights have gone from like 1.5 million to 3 million in the space of 10 days and the flights are going up every day as the competition moves on so um, our supporters club are really, really hurt by this. And we ourselves, we are hurt by it because if we are watching matches and then our national teams are playing, we want to be hearing the trumpets, mm. the drumming yeah. and the sally and the gyration and everything. But when they feel the vibe, and you see, I say, we just, maybe if all of our team make our girls not really, you know, do one or two things because that thing, they really inspire. A lot. You get, so lot. we need them. Australia, I don't know what you people are doing, you know, but if this is the case, it's very, very unfair. I beg, sort out this thing. There should be priorities given to people like this because you know what they are coming to do. This is a competition that people are trying to push and we know the way women football is trying to come up now. So let's not use this minor, minor one or two things to make it a, a Johnson matter now. I beg, give them their visas, let them blow their trumpet and make us happy. What's all this? No verse, Anyways, no, verse, no, verse, no, verse, no, 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 the thing they are annoying. I yeah, beg, let's move on. Sad, sure. Anyways, for this game, I feel I feel it's, it's a game that, in as much as uh, you want to call home, home advantage for Australia, I feel it's a game that we mm. can actually calm down and win. Uh, take away the fact of some K Australia is someone that if 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 you if you combine their team and if you combine our team, even mm. with Sam K, we are way better than them. Mm. Now I, I think the 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 main issue here now is the fact that our biggest players in the Super Falcons team are not really turning up. I think it's high time people call out to Shola that this girl has not been playing ball for us for the past five years. Mm. That girl know the play ball for Nigeria. Make, make we talk him. Mm. Assistant that is playing big girl football for us. I don't know whether she's a, she has injury or what. The last game, she no play anything. True. They, 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 they her, she they, she they do like this, they come out. Even in the WAFCON, okay, yes, she had injury. The last World Cup, too, she didn't play anything. So it's high time. If if you don't do well, there are players, gift Monday, she's hungry. Even our um, parent is there, just in case. Mm -hmm. I think it's high time our players start dominating the world stage. This, this is the time, if you want to really, because there was a time we are clamoring for Chipping her in in top 30 Ballon d'Or. If you want to take it to the next level, if you don't want to be calf best and you want to be competing for Ballon d'Or, this is why we want to, this is how you, sh you should do it. So it's high time our our, our, our biggest player start. Odega, there is no need she should be playing this game. Mm. I think it's high time we should start taking things very, very seriously in, in, in this country. Odega, last match, no playing it into. Mm. I don't think there's any reason for bringing Odega into this game. Rashida mm. is back. Bring her in. She's very direct. Uh, straight, she's into straight, straight into the starting line. Straight into the starting line. Straight up. Yeah. Straight up. Mm. The only reason we are keeping Oshola is because she's the best player in Africa. Mm. There, is, there is no need for doing big girl in this kind of tournament because I don't understand what they're playing in the last match. And then also, I feel if we ta if you can target for five points, there's nothing bad. Yeah. We have had one um, <coughs> that was against Canada. Mm. We can validly get the draw. In fact, if you get the draw against Australia, I feel it's on the bad side. Because if you're talking about home advantage, they can take a cue from the under-17 guys that beat uh -huh. uh, who Argentina. Was that? Argentina. Argentina. Yeah. So mm -hmm. they are home support. By the time we score them first, go score them second, then go they, rest. Then shut up. Mm. Because in as much as home support, they get as home support go be guy. If 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 the opponent did play you ball, you say if your morale go they go they down. So I think it's a game that we can actually win. Samike absent or not, being the home support or not, it is a game that if you look at it on paper, we should win. Mm. And then anything short of 
victory because it looks like right now we are the only people that will be wrecking Africa for this because the other Africans are messing up. I don't oh, understand bro. what within Zambia and Morocco they do. <laughs> South Africa don't finally play. Five no. They win South Africa one zero. One zero. Like, can you even at least it's so at least better. Okay. So now it be like say the the hope of Africa there was shoulder and mm. please, 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 I beg. Um, what's his name? Randy Waldrum. Please, people they talk about. I've been seeing it since yesterday. You get one uh, group like that where they, they talk about his sub and everything. Mm. It's not. It's no joke. If you see that the game is between now and then your players, the energy levels, try and you, score what day. You players they give what people. Day. Which in account? You see how she they play ball. Players they now. Wait until no, 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 Canada no. will do five sub. You can't do one. I swear. You can't do one. So that please, was I beg. very painful. Daddy guy. Please, 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 I beg. Let's let's just hope that with this, with all this begging and begging and begging, because it looks like and it will be so bad if out of the four African teams that went for the World Cup, nobody qualifies. For because it looks team. like Zambia won't qualify. Hmm. It looks Zambia, like, they, don't, they don't pack their bag already. <laughs> it looks like Morocco won't qualify. qualify. Mm-hmm. Wafcon winners, Bayana, Bayana, we do. Okay, I'm sorry, but there's they, they still no win. Too. So it mm-hmm. looks like we are the only ones that have to do this for Africa. And then, it gets us to go with the Gosun, they reduce our slots to for World Cup. Please, mm-hmm. uh, you know, you, you know, it really makes sense. So, uh, please, I beg, Thursday, <laughs> Thursday, no fire again. Mm. Let's 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 just let's <laughs> 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 go on now. Go on. What can you guys? see? Let's what are you see? Go uh, on. Wait, 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 I let, think we can win. We can win. All I right. We we'll just win. do. I beg, please, if you're in this comment uh, comment section, thank you so much. <laughs> uh, please just let us know your scoreline predictions for this one. More do basically. So we're not go wrong by the starting lineup from goalkeeper to forward. But what we can just do basically is just say basically the start, same starting lineup. Abiodun out. Um, Ali Matu in the in Francesca out. Um, Rashid Rashida 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 in. Mm. All say I. Is it good? Are we good on that one? Yes, definitely. That's okay. Okay, South Africa lost two one. No, we said one zero. Oh, we, well, we said one zero. So it was a two one loss. I'm right, more just to score my predictions quickly. <laughs> you know the last time where I predict mm. and I get alright. Yeah, you got I say draw. You say draw, yeah. And it happened. Mm. I see another draw. <laughs> now you want to talk to me now. Nah. <laughs> no, no, I, I see another draw. I'm serious about this. Uh, um, Honestly, I see a draw too. Mm. We'll Bro? beat them and we'll show them up. 2 0. May I say 1 0, 1 0 win? Oh. Super Falcons, 1 0 win. Okay. Nigeria, 1 0 win. No shaking. All right. Um, Good luck. Uh, just let us know in the comment section. Let's collect predictions as well. Thanks for watching. Right here, another one of our videos where you're supposed to like and all our social media links. I mean, follow us on every platform because we get content for everybody.